Welcome back to Better Living. I'm here with Joe from Shay's Carpet. He has brought his own artwork. His is even two-sided, and you could have it to put in your yard. That's See, right. that's nice of that's, that's so two nice. Two-sided, it's beautiful. <laughs> well, and the, the important thing on here is Joe's phone number. If you call this phone number anytime, if somebody is not in the store, it comes directly to that cell, doesn't it? Right. It's uh, that way when you call. And there's any questions about your scheduling or was carpet's been ordered, anything like that, you can get a hold of me at Call Forwards and myself. Love it. Makes Love it a little it. bit more, uh, well, again, we like to try to be on top of things. We're still a, a small operation and we like to be on top of everything, so. Well, I think that's just one example of that customer service. And you are so concerned. I mean, that really is something that you make sure you take care of is the customer service. Well, again, I was on your other programs and I used to own three carpet stores. And I used to go after the builders and apartment people. And to have accounts like that's all fine and dandy, but the problem is you start to lose control. Mm -hmm. And well, anyways, long story short is we, re we reinvented ourselves to where, um, like, the, the, like the bigger stores, uh, I always tell people that do you want to be part of uh, do you want to be part of a, a service that you're one of 30 customers, maybe in a day, that's being installed, where we at Shays Carpet, we basically have like maybe five jobs a week that go in. So we can really, you know, when you call, you get a hold of me, mm -hmm. where's the installer, how's things going, so on, so, and, and we know what's going on. Well, it's easier for you to keep touch with, keep in contact with all of your customers in and make sure that the job's being done right. If I'm a customer at a, a bigger place, perhaps I just become a number. Right. I've showed up at customer's house in the middle of the installation. Uh, I call. How's the job going? I call the installers, everything. You know, they have a print that they, they take with them, that they follow mm -hmm. where the seams are going to go. Uh, a lot of companies, the carpet's already pre-cut, and then when it, the installer shows up on a job, there, it's like, well, no, we can't install this differently because right. the carpet repeat cut where the men will follow the diagram that I give them that I've gone over to customer with. So your seams go where you know your traffic mm -hmm. pattern. So. Well, and here's the other thing. You um, have great ideas, I think. You come up with creative ideas. You're going, working on the floor for our lobby. We're going to redo oh. the floor in the lobby. And you brought this piece of, I said, I think, you know, wood would be good, some kind of wood product. And you brought it in, and, and I would have never thought, to lay it diagonally and you said oh now see if you do this look how much better it'll look and that's why you're the expert well again I, I don't carry a decorating degree but and even though I dress kind of funny uh, people do ask opinions sure. and, it, and then a fresh look uh, I've had people where they've seen carpet and I'm, I'm like you know I don't know if you know this but I see a little green hue in there and people are like Oh, I didn't even, you know, so, you know, it's a little bit better eye. And then, again, at the, the, the lobby we're doing here, uh, you have a lot of color going on, mm -hmm. so I recommend, you know, we're going to kind of consult with, and, and you have a lot of burgundy in there, so mm -hmm. we're going to maybe paint everything and primer everything and get it all down to maybe a white base to where when you choose your color, we can help you to decorate right. the studio better rather than just pick a bunch of colors and then you put it all together and it's mistakes you made because you had that burgundy palette looking at you. And I would have never thought to clean it up for, I mean, obviously it, clean, clean, <laughs> but I would have never thought to paint it before we decided well, we'd have, it, yeah, it yeah. has to be primed yeah. anyway, yeah. so why not get to a white canvas and then choose colors after that? It and, and it's going to look good. I am certain it will, and it's not because I have anything to do with it. Let's talk about what different flooring you offer at Shays Carpet. Well, again, the, the one thing I like to not do is we don't do real tile. Uh, again, it's just that uh, people's perception of tile is more in their head than it is mm -hmm. by living on it. Because when they do get to living on a real stone tile with the grout, uh, it has a tendency the grout changes color, it's cold. People don't know that until right. they get it. So that's the one thing I don't sell. But what I do sell is like a warm cork, the real wood. We do sell that new vinyl plank mm -hmm. look, uh, which is waterproof. Uh, the sheet good vinyl, no seams to contend with, carpet, all the varieties, uh, your frise, plush, uh, and some patterns are starting to come back. We got some leafy pattern. Um, and then the pad is very important. We like to guide people to the proper pad. Uh, it's funny, I don't really have a selection of pad. I just have the best pad. <laughs> well, and I have always heard that, that that's what matters, what you put under the carpet. Well, just like anything else, it's the foundation of a, of a home, a family, anything. It's good to have a good mm -hmm. foundation. That makes sense. You know, right. So. I want to go back, and we did mention this last time you were on, but I'm still fascinated with it, the cork floor. For mm -hmm. somebody who's trying to picture that in their head and they're thinking, uh, 
I would, it would break up. It's just like a foam. It's not like a coark board, is it? Well, there's a few patterns that do look like that, and people don't really buy that, but they do have ones that actually have a, like a block look, so okay. it gives something to the eye. And generally when people, it's funny because the museum downtown, there's a cork floor that I think is like 80 years old down wow. there. Wow. Uh, on the, and it's glued down to the concrete, and it's starting to get that really unique patina, uh -huh. like almost a syrup. It's really, like I said, it, and people, they, it's funny because they'll see that and then they'll shop for cork going, well, this is really nice. It's held up for 80 years. So it, it does, it's, it's compressed to where it's real dense, unlike a cork board would Which, not be condensed because you want to be able to put thumb stacks sure. in. So it's what they do to compress the cork to make it more firm to be able to walk across it to use as a flooring application rather than a, a wall application. That makes a lot of sense, and I would have had no idea that it was that old because you think of it as kind of trendy. Right. Well, if you want trendy flooring, or if you're looking for the old standard, all you have to do is call Jay's Carpet. I love this artwork. Yeah, Joe can, it comes straight to Joe, and he can, can you help you. 419-531-7900, we'll be right back.